Hey everybody, I have not made a video in a long, long time, um, a month and a half probably, but I am out here, there's Ida May, and over here is Kira, and we are now in our new shop, so we'll take a look at this big thing, now this is pretty nice, right, it, it, it's kind of big, um, it's not as big as our last shop, but well, it, it's actually a lot bigger, uh, yeah it is, I took measurements. Huh. You want to see? Sure. All right. Well, Kira's going to prove me. Now, we started hauling a lot of stuff in, so it looks like a kind of a junk pile in here. But um, this is, let me step back, show you how big the shop is. Hey, Kira, mm -hmm. over here. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It gets a lot bigger. Okay. Now, there's more here, see? There's more shop here. Yeah, all the mama's cannon supplies. All that, a lot of tool equipment. Uh, bringing it all in. So I know I haven't made a video in a while, and you're going to be seeing a lot of videos. And we look, back the truck up, dump it all out. Okay, you know, you get it. Um, <laughs> that vent is kind of odd. It goes to somewhere. Oh, hey, there's more shop. Huh. Come on, Emma. There's more shop. Oh, here. here uh, and there. Huh. There's another door. Kara. Yeah. Where? There's more shop. It keeps yeah. getting bigger, too. So, look. The Winnebago made it from Idaho down here to the hill country in Texas. And it is sitting inside the shop. And it's got about 12 feet above its roof. Yeah, um, um, I remember, by my past memories, the Winnebago would barely fit in the shop and we wouldn't have any room to move around, but now we have lots of room. Yeah, oh yeah, the Winnebago would fit in there and you couldn't move around it, but look. All right, so uh, some of this material is from the previous owner. It got left here, a uh, deceased uh, estate sale thing, and most of it is now becoming ours, but it gets bigger. It gets a lot bigger. We started getting everything set up in here, and... A lot of stuff. Come on down. Look at my junk. There's wind turbine blades. Um, the big generator. Now, we ran that big generator for about three days because we had to. Powered everything. Beautiful machine. Um, and ran off this tank that was half full. And it still got a little bit in it. And it ran it off for three days running everything, didn't it? Yeah. Um, there's all the stereo. Well, this ain't all the stereo. There's a bunch of them. Um, and then over here. You look at this big Winnebago in here. She's pretty, and she made it. Not only did she make it, she did it in style. So uh, I got a guy down here wanting it really bad. So I figured I'd bring it down. It's worth it. She's got beautiful lines. She's nice and straight and clean and damage-free, except where a little punk kid hit it with a ball on his antenna of his ATV. A turd. So um, other than that, it's just... Antiquity needs to be cleaned up. Um, here, let me go inside here. Uh, now, don't don't be surprised because people have been staying in here. But there she is, nice and pretty. Eva up on the bed. Eva, what are you doing? Little coyote turd. All right, and everything else in here. So working good. All working good. All right, you gonna go to bed, Eva? Look at my eyes. That's kind of creepy, ain't she? Uh. <laughs> So, all right, now, everything else is great. Uh, refrigerator is kicking real nice up in there. And that's original, believe it or not. Look, no rust, no nothing. That is original, and it's working perfect. Actually, it's freezing the hell out of stuff. So, y'all got to see my, a lot of crap you never got to see down in the uh, south hills of Idaho. Uh, lots of crap, guys, lots of crap. And look, see my old zenith. Look at that. One from inside the house. You never got to meet that thing. So uh, we tried to sell garage sell a lot. It didn't work. People are broke. Um, but there it is out there. And I got to fix that. This is hillbilly. Real hillbilly. It's a water line that they ran from over there with a well. The well's in here. The well is actually coming up from the slab in here. Water well. How in the hell are we going to get to that? Oh, by the way, the water well is how deep? About 60? Here, let me turn that off. Look, you got some spooky ass, Kira Marie. Here, turn that off. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so there's a bathroom, laundry in there. I'm gonna show you that. You yeah, know, it's kind of okay. creepy. Five hundred was the water well in Idaho. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the a water well in Idaho was 467 feet. This one here is 400 feet less. But a little office set up in here. It's a mess. Um, but we started here, guys. We started here. This is not going to be anything special back here. It's going to be a storeroom. But up here, whole automotive shop. I've got 47 feet from this frame here to that door. And then I got 13 feet going back that way. Yeah, isn't it cool how we can so we're, over here? We are over we here. are 60 feet, and it's pretty good. So what's that? Yeah, we could park a, a full 35 foot trailer over here, no problem. This one here is 29 and a half feet. Look. Hell, look how I'll show you. This is great. I'm probably boring the hell out of some of you guys. I'm like, where's the wind turbines? Oh, here, look, wind turbines. And we're going to do more. First turbine going up on the building is going to be a hurricane wind power turbine. And then I'm ordering, because I sold my house as is with everything on it, the guy that bought it, he's kind of a prick, not very educated. Um, he didn't like white trash way of doing things. So he's going to order his own. And even though he kept the other ones. So... Yeah, whatever. Um, I love being a white trash hillbilly. All right, so this one here has got we're 29 feet. So I'm about, what, 40 feet from here to there. Plus I got, what, five, six feet? It's 46, but that's the actual dimensions. So this is 46 by 46, 20, and the roof is going this way. So we got to figure out how to do our solar. But it's, it's 23 feet up there, and over here it's 21 foot one inch go me go figure i'm sorry you know creepy but i guess they couldn't do too good of math but then again so far so good all red iron two by what eight red iron mm -hmm. seems to be working you guys stay tuned wind turbine videos coming up crazy crap for Kara to do <laughs> and crazy crap for daniel to do daniel is with the 40-foot motorhome and my friends back in the South Hills of Idaho, and this is video one of the Hill Country, Texas Lone Star Adventures. Now, what you're going to see in this adventure is a huge array of Steon solar panels going up on the roof. I don't know if I'm going to put them on this roof or on that section over there. You're going to see 22 of these batteries. It might be 24 of these big batteries, and I might be picking up Crown or Duracell, either one. Um, depends on my supply abilities here. They're both good for 10 years if you do the system I'm going to do. So one of them is related to the wind turbines. You're going to see this. Another one, let's see if I can explain it, um, is going to be taking four batteries and making a system. And the four batteries are going to be four 24 volt lithium batteries and you know i'm against lithium but these are these are um uh titanium oxide they're not lifo or l-i-f-p-o they're lithium titanium oxide lto and there's huge big round soda can size cells those have been dependable proven in the power systems in australia and they've used them in New Guinea. They used them on the islands all over the Pacific. And they've proven durability without any issues. Instead of having one little double A size or whatever fail and lose a whole battery. Those are literally tougher than nails. Now, they're, they're special winding on or wound. Now, we're going to be having a 24-volt system just in those. We're going to have an array of solar panels, 320-watt solar panels, it's going to charge a 24 volt system and then it's going to feed at night into a solar controller into the main battery bank now i know that don't make sense to some people but using a dust to dawn circuit i will be able to when the batteries get to a certain power level say 12.65 volts as soon as they get to that around probably midnight that will kick a 200 amp supply into a standard controller and then the controller will feed that at 12 volts like a 24 volt solar panel coming in it'll then convert it to 12 volts and 60 amps times three 180 amps 
into this. So we're going to put three of them, wire them all three, my hands are rough, wire them all three to the batteries, and the BMSs will not be confused that way because they'll be able to dump equally. And if they start at 12.65, it's not going to put a heavy load on the lithium batteries. You'll get your, you know, 10,000 whatever cycles out of them. Um, and then it'll extend the life of these. If you don't let them get below 75%, they can last 15 years, these right here. And I can prove that because the last set I had lasted almost nine years. And that was abusing the hell out of them. So I know I can get more. All right, so you're gonna have huge solar array, multiple turbines, a lot of new and improved designs. So stay tuned. Jen the crazy something dog. Um, stay tuned, guys. Y'all going to see some crazy stuff. And I know that compressor over there is loud, but it was loud in the shop before, and y'all heard it. And you're going to see all the upgrades on this for people who like that. So the guy that's going to buy this, once it's completely all the trim removed, all resealed, all new stuff, everything redone, he's going to give almost $30,000 for it because it's one in existence with that number on it, one. The 15 or so they made that were 27 feet, this one's a 29 and a half. It's the only one registered in the United States. That makes it worth something to somebody who likes this stuff, and I know I'm talking to you now. Phil, <laughs> Phil, it's gonna be yours. You know that. All right, off to the uh, races, guys. Y'all be good. We got a ton of work to do. We're going to find out if that big 4,000 watt, we got a 4,000 watt dual phase coming from Sun Gold. We're going to see if it'll run one of these, just for the craps of it. Since I'm going to be putting out 9,000 watts, why not? Give it a shot. All right, you guys be good.